So I have the the cross slides uh, removed, but I thought I thought I'd show you this. This is just a cross. Yeah. Nothing like getting off track, but uh, I. The only way to see this is if I have this apart, and I don't take this apart too often. Uh, the the screw here is is not really an Acme screw. It it's something else. It's um, the screw. It's 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 almost shaped like for a ball screw, but um, the 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 thread form is is like this. It's really out there like this with a, so it's it's not really quite an Acme. Uh, I mean, it's probably metric. <laughs> uh, anyway, it has, these are the nuts. These two nuts here are threaded and they're really quite worn. I really need to replace all this. But the nice thing about this is it has this wedge here between these two nuts. And you, that's why there's three screws in the cross slide. The two, two screws for the nuts themselves and that, they lock it, that's so you can lock them in place. And then there's one that pushes down on this wedge. So you can adjust how it pushes these apart, right? You know, this way. And you can take the, you can adjust the backlash out. Uh, you can get it down there till it's about, about 10 thousandths or so. That's, that's about all, and otherwise it gets too tight. Um, but you can get it, get it pretty low. Uh, uh, it all matters how tight you want it to be. The tighter you get it, the less backlash there is. Uh, I mean, right now I can, I'm holding it here and it's like zero. So, uh, but, but that, this is a, actually a pretty nice setup. If you, if you wanted to do this to your own lathe, it wouldn't be a difficult thing to do. It'd be two nuts and have some slopes on these. So the wedge pushes on it. And you'd have to put holes in your cross slide, but you you could actually modify your own lathe to have this a type of adjustable nut setup. I mean, the, the setup actually works works really well. This is my six by twelve Ko Lee uh, surface grinder. And uh, I also put the DRO on this unit also. Just two axis. And you, we're doing this handheld because it's about the only way I can show all this. Uh, you know, I mounted the arm on the side of the column here and came out actually very nice installation as far as a, overall, uh, pretty clean. So we have an X and Y axis. Now this unit is set up in grinder as a grinder mode instead of a mill or a lathe. Uh, so the in and out axis, you know, right here, which is the Y axis, is mounted down here. Now. I chose to put the scale on the stationary part versus the moving part and the heads on the moving part right here. Uh, this surface is not flat across there at all. It, was, it would have been more of a pain to do versus this surface was flatter but not you know perfectly lined up with the motion of your of the sliding part. Doing it in this fashion makes it hard to protect uh, where if I had put the scale on the moving part I could have fixed this guard and covered it better uh, from you know splashing uh, you know coolants dirt and all that uh, by doing it this way you know it's a little more difficult to protect it uh, we'll see how this works out. Uh, I put the guard up here so it protects it. It's always kind of covered it, it, uh, on the full motion so the guard is, you know, fairly long. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. Most 
you know, if I do a little bit of cooling on here, it would all be coming from the top down anyway. So we got, we do have some good protection. Uh, this is the table lock and uh, it takes very little to lock the table. So this, this is just fine when the handle moves. So back here on the, for the x-axis, this is the motor for the spindle. Uh, I mounted the scale on the stationary part here also. And the scale is mounted to one of the uh, motor mount bolts here. So this actually worked out really pretty good. Uh, you know, I had to build some extension parts here so I could use the existing screws in this piece here uh, to mount it to and, and uh, such. But this was a fairly easy install. Uh, the, this is very parallel to the motion. Uh, so it, there wasn't a lot of fiddling around to make this all work. And these travels aren't real long either. I'm pretty happy with how all this came out. Now, I'm not going to put a guard on back here. There's really not much you can do about dust. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, seeing how I installed the, the DROs. You know, I did the small lathe first because I had a DRO on there before. So that was a little easier to do because, you know, figuring out how I was going to do it was kind of already done. Uh, and then I just had to make this DRO work with it. Uh, the lance lathe, special situation there because I had to mount the z-axis um, on the front of the lathe. Most are not done that way at all so that was a little, little, uh, little different and extra work to do. These are the kind of the more difficult things and the, the grinder was pretty straightforward. Uh, actually that was uh, fairly easy to do. It's all out in the open. It was easy to get to. Uh, the the vertical axis was was uh, pretty easy. It was already I mean it was parallel in the motor is parallel in line with where I was mounting it. So uh, you know that made it a lot simpler to do. Uh, if you could find a spot where on your machine where it's like that, it makes it very easy. So you know uh, so the grinder went uh, very quickly and you know it only took me like. I don't know, I, I spent probably like two and a half days on it, maybe, something like that. It wasn't a whole lot of time, except it was spread out over over a week or something. But uh, I didn't spend a super, have to spend a super lot of time on it. Thank you guys for watching. Remember the Bar Z Summer Bash, end of June, last weekend in June. Be sure to check out Chan, uh, Stan, Stan, here I got Bar Z shirt on even, uh, Stan's uh, channel. And uh, it link in the description, and you can uh, hopefully c c find a way to attend, especially for, for people out here on the West Coast and stuff. So I hope uh, you can get there. So thank you guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one.